It's been about two weeks now since I made this community post here asking you guys to ask questions to Skella, Birthmark, and SugarCloud. Uh, I wanted them to uh, answer these questions for you and they have done so. So let's jump in and just start going through all the questions and showing you how these different characters responded to these questions. Uh, so starting off, our first question was, is sugar edible? Now, I assume you meant to ask this uh, specifically to Sugar Cloud and no one else, so I only gave it to Sugar Cloud, so this was Sugar Cloud's response to that. This one here by Alakari, uh, Ruin Kone, something like that. Alakari, in, Alakaru in Kune. They asked that if some pony comes at you with a knife, what are you doing? This was a question for everyone. They were they were very specific on who was to answer this one, which was everyone. So here is the response for everyone, starting with um, Sugar Cloud over here on the left. She said that um, she would respond with racist and point at them and, and yell yell racist at them. That's how she's going to respond to someone pulling a knife at her. Um, Skella, of course, as you might have expected, just yells, come at me. Right, um, and Birthmark, he's he's already gone by by the time the knife is pulled out. I think because he's just he's just very tiny over there in the corner, um, running away. So uh, that's that's how they responded to that one. All right, Emma Sanchez five five three three asked POV an anti furry and a furry hunter sees a furry and shouts it's hunting season. What would you do? Question for all of them to answer. So I gave the questions to all of them. Let's start with Skella. She said, "Ooh, what are we hunting? Can I use my new knife?" She's very excited about hunting. Um, Birthmark just said, a what? A what? They don't, he doesn't know what a furry is, I guess. Uh, and Sugar Cloud, um, apparently had to talk on the phone. She had to call someone about this. Um, she said, what do you mean I need the furry voters to win? Wait, what is a furry? I guess she also doesn't know what a furry is. Here's two questions, one by Dragonlord Ember 4801 and one by D1LF underscore 3AT3R. Um, the first one asked, is Birthmark technically a blank flank? And the second one asked, does Birthmark have a cutie mark but hides it or no? Um, and I, I gave the question to Birthmark. Um, Skella decided to chime in as well, but here it is. Um, Birthmark responded that he was born with it, which is true. Birthmark was born with his cutie mark and therefore that's... He, that's just it. Uh, and Skella uh, wanted to chime in and say that he does not wear pants. So, no, he does not hide it um, because he, he doesn't wear pants. This one is by Amy Jonah for Life, who asked, What gave Skella the inspiration to be crazy? Um, I'm not really sure how how you get inspiration to just be crazy as if it's if it, as if it's a choice or something. But I gave the question to Skella anyway, and she pulled out this huge list and started naming stuff off. She said, hmm, "Where do I start? Uh, the dolphin, Ted, that one guy," um, and she's still listing stuff off right now. So I'm just gonna I just left it at that. She's still listing stuff off though. So it's a quite large, uh, qu uh, quite a long list. Scooty7 asked, I'd love to know where Sugar Cloud came from and why we don't see that wonderful pony, see the wonderful pony that often. Uh, I gave the question to Sugar Cloud. Sugar Cloud said, the less you know, the better. Um, but uh, personally, Sugar Cloud's got a whole, whole story that we'll probably get into eventually. Um, but for now, uh, Sugar Cloud just thinks it's better if you know less. Eerie Virtues said that, hypothetically speaking, which of the three is most likely to have an OF account or an OV count? Um, I assume that's an OnlyFans account or something like that, um, but um, Sugar Cloud was the only one to respond, and this is what she said. Star Turtle asked, Skella, do you like bananas? Gave the question, of course, to Skella, and she replied with, uh, no, but of course, if you take a little bit of a closer look at this image, I think she's lying to you a little bit. So take that information what you will, and let's move on to our next question. Brown-Eyed Wolf asked, Skella, why are you green? Uh, I, of course, gave the question to Skella. This time, Birthmark decided to chime in, but Skella said, I was born this way. Birthmark replied with, wow, and he's, he looks very excited. Mallet Brony Dawson 6041 asked, Beans? And of course, I didn't know who to give this question to, so I just gave it to all of them, and unfortunately, they all turned into beans. Um, and so, th that was some pretty dark magic, I think, so. Um, get out of here with your dark magic. It's gonna take a lot of magic to save them and bring them back to normal. Right, okay. Uh, Peach. Petchy6801 asked, Skella, how did you get all your scars? Do they hurt, and are you self-conscious of them? 
I gave the question to Skella, and she replied with, I am not weak enough to have scars. And she seems extremely angry and defensive about this. Um, so, take of that what you will. The Caked Zombie Plus asked, Is mayonnaise an instrument? I decided to give this question to all of the characters since I wasn't again sure who to give the question to. Um, so, uh, let's start with Sugar Cloud's response, which was, uh, I have some very bad stories with mayonnaise that I'd rather not talk about. Um, so that's, that's something. Uh, I gave the question to Birthmark as well, but he just straight up declined to answer. He seems to just want to refuse the acknowledgement of mayonnaise entirely. But as for Skella, she said, no, but I did kill someone with mayo once. With mayonnaise, not for mayonnaise. Kendu Studios asked to all, what do you think your main motivation is? And if I'm permitted to ask more than one questions, who do you aspire to be and who is your crush? So starting off, of course, with um, Skella, she responded with, to push the limits of the body and become the strongest pony, one capable of surpassing magic and being unstoppable. That's her main motivation and, and who she wants to be, I, I suppose. Uh, and so I, of course, had to ask the question, who is your crush? Because she didn't answer that with all of this stuff. Um, and she said, uh, have you seen Birthmark? Who else could it be? So it's Birthmark. Sugar Cloud responded to this question with, hmm, my father really set out my goals for me. I've been motivated to fulfill my destiny to bring my family peace. That was her motivation and who she aspires to be, I suppose. Um, and her as for her crush, she, she replied with uh, no comment. And finally, Birthmark, who gave the longest response to this question, he said, I believe it's my duty to make a difference so no one goes through what I did, and I'm motivated by that idea alone. As for my crush, I guess that would be who I am in love with, and we feel the same about each other. I mean, we did kiss that one time, and we live together now. Uh, Ari Whitepaw3788 asked, why is Birthmark called Birthmark? I gave the question to Birthmark to see if he had the answer, and this is how he responded. I was born this way. This question was a lot for Sugar Cloud, but here's the question. It was from Ocean Zoo, um, who asked, Sugar, what happens if you go underwater? Of course, I gave the question to Sugar Cloud, and this is how she responded. She said, is that a trick question? Should I answer? Y you get wet, right? Um, and she seems, she's... She's still trying to figure it out to this day what you actually meant, um, but that's the best response we got so far. Snyway, I'm not really sure how to say that, but Snyway asked, what is the weirdest fact about the three of you? I gave the question to all three of them, starting with Birthmark. He responded with, I own 37 different hoodies, and I wear them even in the summer. Skella replied with, I can see my past self. I'm not 100% I'm not sure what she means by that. It's a little bit freaky. And Sugar Cloud responded with, I love to eat meat. You might, you might want to stay away from Sugar Cloud. She might, she might eat you or something. All right. Bizu Bizu. Bizu dash Bizu. That's an interesting name. Bizu Bizu. Uh, Skella, how do you get rid of people you don't like? Asking for a friend. Of course. I gave the question to Skella and she replied with a whole list of different options for you. So take your favorite, I suppose. Uh, starting with uh, murder, torture, a hitman, break their legs, imprison them, uh, hide out. Um, and the list is probably still going on, but she stopped there. I hope that was uh, useful for you, Bizu Bizu. Um, but that was also our last question. So I hope you guys watching at home uh, enjoyed this little uh, look into some of the characters and uh, how they respond to different answers and stuff like that. I'll definitely be doing this again in the future. Uh, but for now, we're just going to end it here. Uh, and I'll, I'll make another community post when I want to do this again in the future. Uh, but I hope you guys did enjoy. Like I said, please do consider liking, subscribing, sharing, and doing all those wonderful things like that. Uh, because when you do wonderful things like that, not only do you get access to wonderful content, such as this but you also get to become one for yourself and i think we all want that so do those wonderful things and until next time stay wonderful